So today was wash day and I decided to film a little bit of it. Um, right now I have my hair is wet and I have some um, a lot of conditioner in it and basically I'm just going to let it sit like this overnight and then tomorrow I'm going to rinse it out and I'm going to straighten it um, just to see where my hair length is at. About five months ago my natural hair was at this point and um, yeah I'm really excited to see what it's going to be. Basically I'm straightening it out um, because it's been five months since I've straightened it out. Um, I'm doing it because I want my hair to be um, lightened. Um, not all over it's just going to be some highlights um some around my face and yeah on the top of my hair so i'm pretty excited about that i've been on this natural hair journey for like about two years now um yeah october marked two years and so what's so different about this is that i used wigs as a means to protect my hair so that was my protective style and um the first year i would glue down my wig um but the second year i got really lucky another youtuber on here um her name is sunday sunday love i love her channel but anyways uh she recommends these uh these wigs from i think it's superb superb wigs and basically you can put them on um, with just one of those special headbands that you get from Amazon and literally like it will stay it will not go anywhere they have the most realistic hairline and this is all without um, glue and so for me it was just like this is amazing because now I can take the wig off at night and so if you get a wig and like you know you put money into it like if you're gonna buy like one of those six hundred dollar ones and you know you're gonna be gluing it down yourself you know you have to understand that the more you wear it to bed the more it has friction you know the more it kind of wears down the life of the wig now my wig the first year that i was protective styling i was gluing it down and i would the glue would pretty pretty much come up like every every month or so so about four weeks four to five weeks and um so i'd have to go to sleep in it every night because you can't take that thing off <laughs> it's like it's glued it is on um and yes i did put the money into it um so about 600 or 650 dollars it did last about nine to ten months even with me wearing it around the clock like i never took any breaks really but trust me finding the wigs from superb wigs that was like ugh, changed my life so the second year um i did the wigs from there and thankfully like i um they they actually look just how they look in her videos so when you're seeing like her scalp and everything that is without glue and this is literally what it looks like in real life as well and so i highly recommend these wigs i think it's only like 200 dollars. so the one that i have that's like back there um i actually uh, bleached it and so that's why it has that auburny red color um but uh, usually like they're just like black or whatnot i highly recommend that if you want to grow out your hair and you don't want to do the regular protective style whatever that means for you if it's wearing bun being two knots braids whatever um this is an amazing way um also i like it i like the wigs that you can actually take off at night because it's great you can still oil up your scalp you can still um do scalp massages which helps with growth um a lot and um yeah you can just take care of your hair easier instead of having something you know glued down so it's funny so like the 200 hundred dollar wig um i had it for about nine to ten months as well and so it lasted a really long time and i'm just now about to get my second wig and um yeah but in the meantime my hair's been growing <laughs> i got up on a tangent on wigs i did not mean to make this video about wigs i just i'm really really excited for like how easy it can be and how realistic it can look um depending on what brand you're going with um with my natural hair uh i have it braided up and um, i like to wear it when it's wet because you know it basically gets so much larger when it's dry so i try to do everything when it's wet so you know it looks nice and you know thin and then i can get it like under a wig cap or whatnot usually i have to do like two braids like nothing too crazy but i'm very excited to color it <laughs> this thursday i'm so excited um and yeah i'll probably have my natural hair out for a little while so we'll see how long i have it out before i get tired of it and go back to like a wig because wigs are like really really uh, just easy uh, to deal with the thing i wanted well um so the, hopefully the video you guys can see um when i detangle my hair i put tons and tons of conditioner in it and so the conditioner kind of like flew all over the mirror so i don't know 
how you know well you guys will be able to see in these videos but uh, don't worry like tomorrow i have to rinse everything out and straighten out my hair so i'll have more video of that and what it looks like because you know when when it's curly it's hard to tell really where the length is at versus you know when it's straight so I am assuming while I was detangling, I saw that some of the pieces came down to around my belly button. We'll just see, you know, the overall health and everything. Um, the MSM, I've been on MSM for over a year now, and so we already know MSM is really helpful with hair growth. Uh, supposedly NAC is too. Um, you know, it, it's nothing that they've said 100% yes, NAC makes your hair grow, but there are a few uh, studies that they have done that's like, um, it just helps people with growing back their hair, like especially like edges and things like that. So if you notice like maybe your center part or something is kind of um, getting patchy or something, it definitely could help for that. It, it's not as like a sure thing as um, the MSM. The MSM 100% it helps. Um, and MSM, you do not have to mega dose MSM to get the hair benefits. Half of these hair YouTubers on here, they only take like a thousand milligrams. <laughs> like, you don't have to take crazy amounts. Um, so really, I wouldn't even worry about, you know, I know some people have really bad reactions to MSM, like as far as getting, you know, headaches, um, and some people don't like how it affects their period, and so, um, sometimes those types of reactions come out when you do mega dose it and so you might just be one of those people who it's just easier just to take the thousand milligrams and after the initial detox that your body will go through which will last about four weeks sadly it's a long detox but after that like you should be fine um i hate getting back off on msm like i took off for like maybe a month and then i got back on it was, it was just awful <laughs> awful so i like to just stay on it and um yeah for me Earlier this year, I would say I was taking about a thousand milligrams, and then just now, like in the, within the past last two months, I just bumped it up to like two thousand milligrams. So that still really isn't a lot, but you know, it's just enough for the hair growth. It definitely will make your hair grow, but when it does, it's going to make your hair grow everywhere. So that means I have to um, shave my underarms a lot more. <laughs> um, I have to wa wax my upper lip. So if you're one of those girls. Usually I can like wax my upper lip like maybe every six weeks or something. Um, now I feel like it's like every two weeks. So, you know, you have to understand it, it is going to up the hair production um, all over your body. And so, you know, you're going to have to spend more on, uh, you know, hair removal. Like whatever, whether you're using like a hair removal cream or razors or whatnot. But it's just, yeah, that, that's just how it goes. Um, if you want to up your hair production, like you know, you're gonna get, you know, just have the hair that grows on your body, you know, just produce even more. One of the, oh, the biggest thing, and I know you guys have seen this because it, it's everywhere and I've I've mentioned it before, I'm going to mention it again, the uh, rice water. Basically, um, what, what is that called when you, when you let it sour or something? Gosh, I can't think of the word right now, but basically, you know, you, you make the rice water, it smells awful. And just get an airtight can Container. So you could use one of those airtight um, glass Tupperware or you can use a mason jar either or put like uh, maybe a quarter of a cup of rice and organic rice, a jasmine rice, jasmine rice smells really good. Um, and then um, you can, I do it the easy way, I don't do a stovetop version. There's lots of uh, tutorials on YouTube, just take, take your pick. Um, so far I, I feel like each one works, but basically what happens is like the protein in the rice, it's it makes your hair to where it will not shed as much and also you're going to retain your length and so you know a lot of people have videos of showing just their hair growth within two months of being on like the rice water doing the rice water thing so for me i did it the first year so last year of my hair journey and um, that was using the rice water once a month i can't say it did work 100 percent but i was using it as a leave-in so basically i would wash my hair i spray the i put the rice water in like um, a spray jar a spray container and then add in um like uh, peppermint oil and the tea tree tea tree oil and then um, yeah basically spray it all over your hair and so uh, after that i would braid my hair up and then you know put on my wig cap glued on my wig and I did that for a year 
um, great results with that and then this year um, sometimes I would get lazy so I would say out of this year I've maybe only done it maybe six months out of this year and that's just from laziness so it really does make your hair stronger it definitely helps your hair not shed as much and um, basically all the videos that I've seen of people be like oh my gosh my hair grew or this is like you know magic for my hair like I can 100% say that they are not lying it is true it is really amazing but just understand the smell is awful so <laughs> there is a negative side to it um, as far as being lazy making it um, you want to make sure that you're making it maybe 24 to 48 hours before you wash your hair um, so you have to have it in that airtight container like I said with me I do it the easy way I put the rice in the airtight jar I put the water over it and sometimes I'll put a fresh orange peel or grapefruit peel and then I just let it sit some people will do it on the stove they'll let it boil for a bit and then put it in the container it's gonna make your hair easier to detangle it's going to make it stronger it's just gosh this is amazing this is one of the cheapest hair hacks and that will really really make a difference in your hair i absolutely love it but yeah the smell is awful um if you wanted the great thing is the smell does dissipate so if you do have it in your hair and you're going to do it as a leave-in like i do um you can have you know however much rice water it makes and then i would add a little bit more water so you go half water half the rice water whatnot um obviously add in some essential oils and spray it on your hair once your hair dries you won't be able to smell it anymore but it is going to smell up you know your bathroom's gonna smell <laughs> if you get it like on any car uh any like um i don't know if you have any rugs in the bathroom take the rugs out so it doesn't get in the rug or anything but you know the good thing is after like 24 hours of airing out the bathroom it won't smell like rice water anymore i, I have thought about doing it outside because like sometimes it smells that bad but uh like i said the benefits outweigh the you know the drawbacks and um if you doctor it up enough it's completely fine as a leave-in and um, you won't smell like fermented rice. <laughs>